Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Thierry Schneider, director of uh, CPN, Nuclear Protection Evaluation Center in France, and the chair of ICRP uh, Committee 4. And today, this is my pleasure to, on behalf of the International Commission on Radiological Protection, to give you uh, a message of support at the beginning of your conference. I will uh, share my screen to give you some few uh, messages uh, with regard to what we have learned and how we, we see uh, the future of uh, the recovery process in uh, Fukushima. So first of all, uh, the International Commission on Radiological Protection, uh, what is, is in charge of providing general recommendation on the radiological protection system. And due to this uh, mission, just uh, after uh, the Fukushima accident, ICRP engaged a series of dialogues with Japanese colleagues and stakeholders from Fukushima Prefecture to share information on radiological protection issue and also to promote the dialogue and finally to draw some lessons for the future. In fact, there was the establishment of very fruitful and crucial cooperation and interaction with colleagues, notably from Fukushima University, quite soon after the accident, and that was very well appreciated. We have to say that the commitment of researchers and universities to support the recovery process has to be acknowledged and represent a significant effort. This is useful, first of all, of course, for affected people from the Fukushima prefecture, but also broadly for addressing the issue of recovery management and to foster the preparedness for post-accident management all over the world. First of all, what is the general objective of radiological protection uh, after the Fukushima accident in the dynamics of uh, resilience? It's of course to mitigate radiological consequences for people and the environment, but at the same time, there is a need to ensure sustainable living conditions for the affected people, sustainable working conditions for the responders, and maintaining the quality of the environment. In this perspective, responsible organizations and researchers should promote the involvement of local communities. This is quite important. The involvement of local community need to be done in cooperative and what we can call co expertise process involving stakeholders and experts. This co expertise process has the aim to better, to, to, to improve the assessment and the characterization of the local situation. This characterization will be done on radiological issue, of course, but also on non-radiological issue, including social and economic uh, issue. This co-expertise rely on the development of adequate uh, practical radiological protection culture uh, to promote the cooperation on the co-expertise process, allowing people to better understand and to have the clue uh, to address a radiological issue. There is also the aim to allow an informed decision-making process among those affected and to support the recovery process. And finally, this co-expertise process aim to also foster the environmental and health surveillance in the long term with a stakeholder participation. A major stake for the recovery process is therefore on the one hand to put radiological protection at the service of improving living and working condition in the affected area, that is to say, promoting individual well being and quality of living together. But on the other hand, there is a need to consider the socioeconomic development. And this socioeconomic development has to take into account the radiological context by contributing to the protection of people on the environment and maintaining the vigilance to ensure a sustainable future to the local population. The management of the recovery process must be linked to the long-term vision of the territories. There is no way uh, to do the recovery without having a long-term perspective. 
But this long-term vision need to take into account the health, social, environmental, economic, cultural, and memorial dimension, and so on. In this context, developing multidisciplinary research project in connection with local stakeholders is crucial to provide the adequate knowledge, scientific and, and practical knowledge among them. The objective is to restore individual well-being and the quality of community life in the affected areas where people are allowed to reside. And in this perspective, the work performed by the university and the support of university for local people is quite essential. This implies to develop a sustainable socio-economic framework, articulating the redeployment of infrastructure and also the socio-economic activity. For this perspective, there is a need to include innovative projects. And for that, research, research projects are quite important. There is a need to support local projects initiated by individuals and local communities. And the dissemination and transmission of experience has to be considered in order to improve and manage the situation. To be successful, <clears throat> the recovery process must, re must rely on governance mechanism, securing an open dialogue between all stakeholders in which experts are at the service of the affected people. It also requires the empowerment of individual and local community to decide together the values and principles for the common future. This cannot be achieved without the support of authority and without the respect of individual autonomy. And I would like to say also without the involvement and support of researchers and experts and the conference today clearly demonstrate this importance. Just briefly, some publication on recovery issue issued by uh, ICRP. Uh, first of all, the workshop which have been done in 2015 uh, in Fukushima. The recent publication it published in December 2020 on uh, the recommendation from ICRP uh, to address uh, the radiological protection of people and the environment in the event of large nuclear accident, which largely rely on Fukushima lessons. And then the last publication, uh, which reflect the workshop which have been organized in December 2020 on recovery issue. In conclusion, I would like to, to say that this is important for ICRP and for many countries to draw the lessons from your experience with your progresses and difficulties and counter in the recovery process. Your conference today is very useful for better understanding and supporting the resilience of the affected community 11 years after the accident. It emphasizes the key features of the recovery process while maintaining the vigilance on radiological protection issue. In this context, once again, the establishment of long-term cooperation framework with multi-dimension and multi-stakeholder approach is of primary importance. And I would like to clearly repeat that ICRP and also CPN and other colleagues from uh, France are really ready to support you in this process and to foster the resilience of uh, the recovery process 10 year, 11 years after the Fukushima accident. Thank you so much and uh, have a good uh, conference.